Hi ladies, I'm Michelle from Meditation Sunshine Coast and if you're wondering whether this retreat is suitable for you, I've made this video to go over it in greater detail to give you a really good idea of what's involved, what we're going to be doing, where we're going to be going, so you can make an informed decision at the end of this video as to whether this retreat is suitable for you or not. I'm very excited about it. I ran this trip for the first time last year and I absolutely fell in love with the Queensland Outback. I loved driving on the open roads. I loved the history and the Aboriginal culture and just the laid back nature and being able to just slow down and really take everything in. So this retreat is for women who feel like it's time to do something for yourselves. It's for women who would love to visit these historical and iconic places in Queensland, but perhaps you didn't want to do it on your own. So it's ideal if you want to come and do it in a small group of like-minded women with lots of support along the way. It's ideal for women who may have been thinking about buying a caravan, living in a van, doing the van life, or doing the lap around Australia, but perhaps you want to give it a little try first. You'd want to have a little bit of a sense of adventure and a bit of a happy-go-lucky nature, not going to take things too seriously along the way. And of course, you need to have a curiosity about mindfulness and meditation and how these practices can help you to reduce stress and anxiety, help you stop overthinking the past, worrying about the future, help process emotions and release them, help release muscle tension and sleep better at night and many other benefits that you'll be learning along the way. So this retreat starts off in Mugara, which is a little town west of Brisbane on a beautiful lake. We'll be doing a bit of a walk there. We'll be beginning our mindfulness journey. We'll be making some journals and we'll be visiting a lavender farm, which is one of my most favorite places to go to. From here, we'll be traveling on to Stanthorpe to sample some local wines, of course, and some local cheeses and some other little areas there as well. And going for a hike at the beautiful Girraween National Park. Now the hikes, there's always the easy option and then there's a more challenging option for people that are more experienced as well. So there will be something for all levels of fitness and ability. And from here, we'll continue on to Roma, have a little bit of a stop again to get a bit of history and also stock up on supplies, have a little bit of a rest before we head off to Carnarvon Gorge, where we'll be doing a longer hike, a bit of glamping, a bit of pampering, and again, just experiencing that Aboriginal culture and everything that area has to offer. From there, we will be stopping in at Beela Wheeler just for one night, uh, have a bit of a rest, uh, experience a little bit more Aboriginal culture too, Aboriginal women culture. And then we'll be heading off to the coast to the beautiful seaside town of 1770 and Agnes Water. Here you've got the option of doing a tour out to Lady Musgrave Island if you want to. Otherwise there's some beautiful coastal walks or you can just simply relax and enjoy the ambience of this town. And on our way to Bagara, we'll be stopping off to make our own buffalo skin drums with a shaman. And then our final activity will be a very special labyrinth walk on the beach before we head home. We'll be staying in each location for a couple of nights so we're not constantly setting up, packing down. And we will have an average driving time on the road when we are driving of only about three hours, not much longer than that. There will just be one longer day when we're going to Roma. Uh, and we'll be taking our time, pulling over if we need to, and I'll have a satellite phone for any emergencies as well. There's a few options for your travel and accommodation. You've got the option of taking your own car and staying in cabins. You've got the option of taking your own camper or van if you have one. There's also the option of me hiring one for you, uh, and you can share with someone or you can go solo the whole way as well. Now to keep this retreat personalized and tailored, I'll be accepting 10 women only. And if you register before the date, that should be at the bottom of the page, you will get the early bird discount and save yourself around $300. So click on the apply button now or give me a call on 0438 915830 or you can email me at michelle at meditationsunshinecoast.com.au and yeah, just feel free to pick up the phone, have a chat, ask me any questions you might have 
and determine whether this is suitable for you. I do have early, um, as well as the early bird discount offer, there is also payment plans. So if you can't pay the full amount up front, that's no problem. I do have payment plans available. So just ask me about those as well. Now, also for those that don't know me, as I said, I run Meditation Sunshine Coast. I am a mindfulness and meditation educator and teacher. I'm also the author of Cultivating a Calm Mind. I'm a member of the Meditation Association Australia as well as Mindful.org. Uh, I've been running mindfulness and meditation classes for oh, about five years now and I've taught hundreds if not thousands of people techniques and tools they can use to implement into their everyday lives that are practical and easy to follow to help reduce stress and anxiety, help manage them, help reduce that overthinking, help reduce that mind that never stops thinking, help sleep better so you're not waking up at 2 a.m. in the morning with a mind that won't stop racing, help people process emotions, and just all the other benefits that come along with the mindfulness and meditation practice. So I run classes, courses, workshops, I offer coaching, and of course, retreats like this as well, and smaller ones too. Now, what brought me to mindfulness and meditation was a particularly challenging period of my life that I was going through. I was recently separated, looking after two small children. I was running a business, selling my home. I had chronic back pain. And all of this was just bringing me to a point of overwhelm nearly every day. I was pretty much all drinking myself to sleep most nights and I just didn't see how my life was going to get better or how I was going to get happier. And so I was given the choice of either going down the road of, an of antidepressants or finding something that not only helped me when I was in that state of overwhelmed, but prevented me from getting there in the first place because I didn't want to live my life like this. And I also knew that I wasn't going to be able to avoid challenges. I just needed to find a way to not be so reactive to them and not be so at the whim of everything going on around outside me as well. And so I'd heard about meditation and I thought I'd give it a go, but guess what? I couldn't sit still for five minutes. I could not even count to 10 breaths. I got myself even more overwhelmed by trying different apps. And so part of me knew though that this was gonna have some benefit. So being the kind of person that does everything 150%, I decided to study meditation, various techniques, and then went on to also study mindfulness as well. So that brought me to then teaching children and then that brought me to teaching adults. And I've got to say, it's just made such a massive impact in my life. I wish I'd learned it 20 years ago. And it's not only helped me be, like it takes a lot to get me overwhelmed these days. It not only helps prevent that, but it has helped me be a lot less reactive, a lot more calmer a lot more nurturing and compassionate to myself and other people. It's helped me be more focused and have more clarity. I've always been productive, but now I'm less busy. I'm not wasting time doing things I don't need to be doing, and I'm not getting lost and distracted in thoughts and things going on around me that I have no control over. So that's a little bit about my story and also um, what brought me to meditation, but also before um, that virus, who shall not be named, I was also an events manager and I was running pretty high profile events for business leaders and high profile speakers like Brene Brown, Malala Yousafzai, Patrick Lencioni, Simon Sinek, and as well as the Obamas, which was actually the last event that I managed in Singapore in December 2019 before the world shut down. Now, I 100% believe that I couldn't have done that wrong without my daily meditation practice. And it also helped me transition when I lost that career as well due to COVID. It helped me transition through that time and come up with a way that I could then move forward into the next chapter of my life without falling in a heap or turning to a bottle as I would have done in the past. And now I absolutely love the fact that I get to combine my three passions, managing events, events coordination and traveling 
and of course mindfulness and meditation to then be able to bring people unique retreats like this that not only give you a holiday and give you a break away, but enable you to experience all these other things that you might not have been able to experience. And of course, teach you all these tools and techniques so that when you go home, you don't have to go on holiday to enjoy your life. You can enjoy your life at home, knowing that you have all these tools now that can help you increase your emotional, physical, and mental well-being, so you can enjoy life on a daily basis. So I look forward to having you on board. And again, click on the apply now button if you're interested in coming or pick up the phone or send me an email. And I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Enjoy the rest of your day.